What is beyond Neptune, Pluto, and the far-flung Kuiper Belt? The answer to the Planet 9 mystery could come sooner than you think, because Vatican astronomers just discovered a mysterious planet beyond Neptune. Hi guys, welcome to Beyond Unknown. Today we will be taking a look at the latest news, the discovery of a planet beyond Neptune. Make sure to stick till the end of this video, as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. Astronomers have always wondered what lies beyond Neptune, Pluto, and Kuiper Belt. Is there any ninth planet hidden in the vast wilderness? They have observed and found that billions of kilometers from Earth, beyond the orbit of Neptune, lies the most intimidating part of our solar system. It is a never-ending realm so cold, bizarre, and eerie. The sun, so cheery and warming here on Earth, is simply the most luminous star in the night sky. Undoubtedly, for most of the past century, astronomers extrapolated there was little enough to see, only one small icy planet, Pluto, and its oddball moon, Charon. They thought they should pass them by and look for a faraway star. Is it possible to venture beyond the outer solar system? After thorough research, astronomers have found that the frontier beyond Neptune is not an empty, dull world at all. It is crowded with thousands of dark and enigmatic objects, enough to make a starbound explorer pause for a second look. If you see from the Earth, those murky comrades of Pluto are most probably dark comets. No one knows exactly what they are composed of because a layer of ruddy organic goop has surrounded them. Probably they're a mixture of ice, rock, and dust. Astronomers have been exploring one as big as Pluto itself. Dave Jewett and Jane Liu believe that outer solar was not empty and hollow. They discovered Kuiper Belt objects in 1992. It was undoubtedly a revolutionary discovery. They started their search in 1987, and it took them five years to look through the University of Hawaii's 2.2-meter telescope. Finally, they found what they were after, a reddish-colored speck 44 AU from the Sun, even more distant than Pluto. Jewett, University of Hawaii, and Liu, UC Berkeley, wanted to name their find Smiley, but it has since been cataloged as 1992QB1. That discovery commemorated our first glance at the long-sought Kuiper Belt, named after Gerard Kuiper, who in 1951 proposed that a belt of icy bodies might lay beyond Neptune. Kuiper's solution was a population of swarthy comets encircling the Sun in the domain of Pluto, fragments from the dawn of our solar system when planetesimals were combining to make planets. The ones beyond Neptune, Kuiper suspected, never stuck together, remaining instead primal and separate. Nowadays, they sometimes fall toward the Sun and become comets that survive for a short period. Based on our surveys, we think that there are about 70,000 KBOs larger than 100 kilometers across, between 30 and 50 AU from the Sun, exclaimed Jewett. If you added all of them together, they would form a planet about one-tenth the mass of Earth. The Kuiper Belt is about 300 times more massive than the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, he explained further. Uncovering the Mystery of Planet 9 Some scientists have noticed the presence of certain gravitational anomalies in this enigmatic region. They have theorized that there must be an undiscovered world, dubbed Planet 9, present at the outer edges of our galactic backyard. If their hypothesis is true, this planet would be unlike any other in the solar system. At 10 times the size of Earth, it would take some 10 to 20,000 years to orbit the Sun, whereas Neptune takes only 165 years to make the same voyage. The scientists are devoted to finding more about Planet 9 and this new space belt. The hypothesis will be tested when the Vera C. Rubin Observatory opens for the first light. Fixed on top of a mountain in central Chile, the observatory will commence its legacy survey of space and time in 2024. Let me tell you more about the LSST. It is a revolutionary invention. The Large Aperture Synoptic Survey Telescope is a 6.5M class optical telescope created to explore over half the sky. LSST will image billions of objects in six colors. It will also record when those resources evolved. It will be the first motion picture of our universe. Well, the scientists are super excited about the future investigation. LSSD is the combination of a 3200 megapixel camera sensor array, a high-tech supercomputer, a refined data processing and distribution network, and a huge telescope fixed on a mountaintop in Chile that aims to cast light on many mysteries important to understand the universe well. From the distant signatures of dark energy to the dangers of near-Earth asteroids, LSST will record every minute detail. Discovery of the Ninth Planet In 2016, Caltech astronomers Mike Brown and Konstantin Batygin observed some mysterious phenomena transpiring in the outer solar system. 
They also recorded some strange and extreme orbits of dwarf planets and other icy objects. They were all pointing toward the exact section of space, indicating the presence of a ninth planet. This newly discovered world would have to be about the size of Neptune, and its closest approach to the Sun, or perihelion, would be a staggering 300 AU. The distance between the Earth and the Sun is 1 AU, or about 27.9 billion miles. If we compare it with Pluto, its perihelion is only 29.6 AU. Keep in mind that Constantine Batygin and Mike Brown uncovered the planet's presence through mathematical modeling and computer simulations, but have not yet observed the object directly. This would be a real ninth planet, explains Brown, the Richard and Barbara Rosenberg Professor of Planetary Astronomy. There have only been two true planets discovered since ancient times, and this would be a third. It's a pretty substantial chunk of our solar system that's still out there to be found, which is pretty exciting. No doubt Planet 9's existence helps explain more than just the alignment of the distant Kuiper Belt objects. It also describes the mysterious orbits that two of them delineate. The first of those objects, dubbed Sedna, was discovered by Brown in 2003. Unlike standard variety Kuiper Belt objects, which get gravitationally kicked out by Neptune and then return to it, Sedna never gets very close to Neptune. A second object like Sedna, known as 2012 VP113, was declared by Trujillo and Shepard in 2014. If Planet 9 is real, it would be on such an odd orbit and so far out in the outer solar system that it would really challenge our ideas of planet formation and dynamics. Anne-Marie Madigan, assistant professor of astrophysics at the University of Colorado Boulder, informs Inverse, there's nothing normal about this planet. This is why Madigan is not searching for just one planet. She is peeking for an entire belt of celestial objects. Taking the example of Planet 9, this proposed Zederic Madigan or ZM belt would be out there, far beyond the Kuiper belt. Along with some of its most intimate bodies being more than twice as far from the Sun as Pluto at perihelion. Unlike the Kuiper belt, this ZM belt tilts off the orbital plane, exhibits orbital clustering, and contains upwards of 10 Earth masses of material. It is similar to the estimation of Planet 9's mass. A lot of unfamiliar debris floating out there, giving us an idea that the Kuiper Belt comprises less mass than even one Earth. Madigan has already done extensive research on how stars orbit supermassive black holes like the one found at the center of our galaxy. This discovery finding inspired her to investigate if something identical could be happening on a smaller scale in our solar system. Her research indicates that when a stellar disk orbits a supermassive black hole, the gravity between stars compels the disk to become unsteady. Eventually, stars gradually jump off the orbital plane and begin clustering. There was a close evidence of anomalous clustering of orbital bodies in the outer solar system appearing in 2014. Madigan noticed an astonishing resemblance. This thing I have been studying about stars orbiting supermassive black holes, they cluster in this exact same way. The ZM belt is not the sole alternative to the Planet 9 enigma. Harvard astronomers believe this unexplained gravitational effect could be coming from a primordial black hole about the size of a grapefruit, whereas others assume there is no need to create a hypothesis of the ninth planet till we get more solid shreds of evidence. Many astronomers still argue that Planet 9 does not exist at all. If LSST is successful in observing it in detail, we won't have to argue about it for much longer. Either it will be discovered soon, or it will be declared as an explanation for the KBO clustering effect. Will LSST help to solve the mystery of the ninth planet? The LSST has several scientific objectives. One of the biggest will be mapping the outer solar system using its 8.4 meter wide mirror to locate objects previously undetectable by other telescopes. The outskirts of the solar system is our backyard. Finding Planet 9 is like discovering a cousin living in the shed behind your home, which you never knew about, Loeb suggested. It immediately raises questions. Why is it there? How did it obtain its properties? Did it shape the solar system's history? Are there more like it? And whatever LSST reveals will be of great interest to astronomers. The discovery of a planet beyond Neptune is a remarkable stepping stone towards humanity's millennia-old dream of exploring the cosmos. And who knows? With this experience and knowledge, we might just stumble upon a planet we could call home. Please, leave a comment down below your own thoughts and don't forget to like today's video. Subscribe the channel as an offering to the gods of the algorithm. Also, please share this video with your friends and family. 
thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye.